Ross. Lord Thundering Christ. Turn and wall. Holy old ball headed. Okay, I'm gonna dive in once you guys hit real quick. Yeah. I'm sure he's catch you. Nobody puts baby in the corner. Oh. Yeah, dirty dancing indeed. Okay. Ugh, give me a sec, sorry. Mm -hmm. oh, it's a hassle. Just give me 15 minutes. No. <laughs> Feel so snug between these two big boys. <laughs> <laughs> Feel protected. Anyways, man, we're about to get mangled here now, man. Hi, everybody! Hello! Ooh. Welcome to the Whiskey Heathens World Headquarters right here in Fort McMurray, Alberta, where <laughs> it's always that I got. That's true. It and is. We have a very special guest. Oh, very special. Ty Brand. No. Oh, 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 People are sick of me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's Mike Lynch. Hi, everybody. Thanks for having me. Oh, buddy. Thanks for coming. We shall sure could be home without the boss, but I uh, had to come up and visit Father up in Fort McFlurry, man. <laughs> what are we, what are we, uh, drinking? Yeah. We yeah. We are drinking land. So I'm, the, I'm the lightest weight. It's been on the show, guaranteed. Guaranteed. Well, that's not true either. And he's a Newfoundlander. Newfoundland. Newfoundland. Right next to Finland. This is my most common observation. G boy, new from Newfoundland, getting drink. <laughs> <laughs> We're actually drinking old fashions and uh, straight single hill. Yeah. And why oh, is single hill special? Life. Yeah, just to switch it up. Like. But listen to chit chat, y'all want smoke? Come get that. Not just rhymes, I spit gas. You broken up like kick ass. Yeah. Straight up, we out here. If any of y'all suckers want smoke, y'all know what time it is. Try you know, something new, why not? Why not? You know, well, sometimes we gotta right. water things down for certain people. It's all yeah. right. Yeah, yeah. Did you water it down for me? Yeah, we did. exactly what happened. Yeah, we did. But it's all right. There's no shame in that. Not at all. Yeah, because we're, we're actually gonna edit this out. That's how little shame <laughs> we have here. No, here's what's great about Signal Hill because we've had, as you can see, multiple copious models. amounts. Yeah. That it's run through here. Yeah, it's great for cocktails. So great for cocktails. Great Easy for old fashioned, real quick. But this is coming out of St. John's. Yeah. Well, St. John. We'll talk about that in a second. Okay. Why don't you tell us exactly what they're telling us? There? Sure. Why not? So, what are you lovely little uh, package here. And we mm. get the Signal Hill whiskey is made from two types of grain. Okay. The corn whiskey mm. is double distilled through a two-column still nice. to produce a light and smooth characteristic. The barley whiskey is pot distilled to bring out a subtle, bready, nutty malt mm. flavor. Multiple layers of flavor are preserved through non-chill filtering. Thank you. Resulting in fuller mouthfeel and smoother finish. Wow. You know what to say about a full mouthfeel? What? It feels full. Oh, that's true too. It's a man who knows his car. <laughs> and whiskey. And whiskey. And, uh, Aged in new white oak casks for notes of vanilla, caramel, and toffee. First run bourbon casks for flavors of oh. dried raisins and plums. And Canadian oh. whiskey casks. You'd make a great bartender out of Westside Charlie's. Oh. Oh, I probably could. <laughs> so Do you guys have that here? Have that here? No. <laughs> I just make a re I made a reference for another. Yeah. <laughs> we're hoping we're really going to catch the Newfoundland demographic with this. It's uh, for my new feedback deal. Yeah, the motherland. <laughs> The variable Canadian climate adds character to our whiskey, allowing for a slower extraction of flavor from the cask to create a sweet, mild flavor. Okay. Care about anything else? No. No. no so I can go. tell you about everything else. Uh, I need more details, Tyler. <laughs> okay, well, there's more on the bottle. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, this is not Newfoundland whiskey. It's Ontario whiskey mixed with the pristine waters of Newfoundland to elevate it drastically. Oh, but it is bottled yeah. in St. John's Absolutely. by Rock Spirits. Thank you, Nern. Actually, in view of Signal Hill. Well, that's important. According to the website, weather permitting, of course. <laughs> that was a fog joke for the Newfoundlanders watching. Uh, New Finlanders, sorry. Finlanders. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, it's uh, sourced whiskey. But uh, we don't care about sourced whiskey because I asked them and they told us. So yeah, you know, we look, they were, look they at were honest and clear and that's what matters. Screech. Screech exactly. is a fucking Jamaican rum. Is there you go. I know. It is from the same bottling company. Yep. Rock it's Spirit. from the same Jamaica thing. bottled. Nothing's truly from Newfoundland. Nothing's Nothing. true. Well, except these two. So ah, there we are. And then we need this old townie. Town. We're not a real Newfoundlander. You don't know nothing about the woods. It's like, buy it, like, shut the fuck up. It's, they come in, they're attacked by, like, you know, all about the woods. They pick you up in, like, a fucking four seater side by side with heated seats. <laughs> Just go to my cabin with Wi Fi. I'll show you about the woods. It's pretty luxurious. <laughs> That's it, appropriately. Yeah. Not my kind of woods. Well, I mean, you're so you're drinking on the cocktail already. Yeah, yeah. So we, we did an old fashioned, like you know, it's something you can throw together at home fairly easy. Fairly, people it don't take much. People sugar spice bitters, it up and add like a bunch of cherries and shit. And Chocolate sprinkles. Yeah, yeah, like fuck off. Um, I, I've seen. I, I ordered one one time and uh, it was green. 
So I was really? like, oh, it's a green apple. Well, I was fucking like, green, yeah. And I was like, what the fuck is this? I was like, excuse me, like I order an old fashioned. And she's like, yeah, we throw some lime bar mix in there just to you know, jazz it up a little. And I was like, no, thank wow. you. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll pass. Yeah, you could just take that back and throw it in the garbage. Whiskey nerd, that'll make your, your head explode. It was gross. <laughs> Yeah, I had a little sip, and it was fucking disgusting. Should be shamed of themselves. Where was Actually, it? Was it a nice place? Well, it was that. It doesn't even exist anymore. It was a... Uh, little Buffalo? Big Shock. I don't even know what it's called. Down at the... Across from uh, Showgirls down there. <laughs> at the Merritt Hotel? Yeah, that old it was restaurant. was Alexander's, and then it was like Prime, and it was... Oh, like way before Prime. Way before know. that. Yeah. I don't know. It was gross. Probably was. Yeah, That's what you get for wanting an old fashioned outside showgirls. Shame on you. you get. <laughs> hey, showgirls has food, by the way. Do that. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty gross. Excellent I'll have the fur burger. <laughs> I'll have the popcorn, please. Yeah. So, anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, Single Hill, we decided it would be appropriate. Uh, Mr. Da has uh, been quite the friend of the Whiskey Heathens. We're drinking in Single Hill whiskey glasses. I mean, it's fun. It's fun. And it's the pristine waters of Newfoundland. What else are you looking for? Turned into whiskey. Oh, yeah, have you ever drank the pristine waters of Newfoundland? This I assumed it would be salt water. I... It's pristine. Oh, okay. Yeah. My mistake. I just assumed ocean, salt water. That's okay. So it's not salty at all. It's okay. goddamn racist. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, uh, we're we're you know we're kind of interested to see what you think about it straight as well. You mentioned cocktails, so old fashions. If you got bitters lying around home, you can make an old fashioned real quick, right? Mm. Yeah, I like a little extra mm. bitters in my old fashioned. <laughs> For someone who doesn't drink whiskey straight, this will be interesting to see. So yeah, it's a friendly whiskey, but it's a little bit sharp. I mean, it's mostly sharp and strong, right? Yeah, yeah, like sharp, like uh, abrasive on the tongue a little bit. Yeah, let's try. It. Yeah. Oh, it smells like vanilla. Mmm. <laughs> I'm always a fan of that. It's good. Good. I, I mean, believe it's under 50 bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Like, hard to beat. I'm not sure. I didn't pay for that one or this one. Well, <laughs> I paid for that one that's empty. Yeah, almost. and I paid for that empty one over there. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it's a, it's a, you know, standard entry-level whiskey. But because of the transparency and honesty, it's kind of elevated a little bit to me. What do you think of it? Yeah, what do you think? For, you know what? I braced myself for the worst because like, I'm not a straight anything mm -hmm. guy, right? Yeah. So I thought I was just going to, you know, almost gag right away. And mm -hmm. I didn't. So it's an amazing whiskey. <laughs> good. No, it is actually a lot better a lot better than what I expected. That's good. I would highly recommend this whiskey to any of the pussies out there like myself. Ooh. This is uh, delicious. I shouldn't say that about this whiskey. It's delicious. <laughs> Fucking get it. You can say whatever you want about the whiskey, actually. Yeah, okay. okay. We're all about, you know, yeah. honest yeah. opinions. You gotta be so. straight with them, man. Um, otherwise, this all falls apart real quick. But yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Uh, it's got a little bite in there. And I find whatever they did, man, whatever's going on there, it pairs with bitters, like, real well. It's, it's yeah. You can drink it neat. It's fine that way. It is. But it almost feels like it's made for cocktails. Yeah, I agree. It works agree. really well. If you're a fan of corn whiskey, I think you'd really like this. I think it's five percent barley or something. Um, I don't know. Say right right right. Yeah, it's on there somewhere. Way. But you know, five-ish percent. Maybe it'll say right there. Who Just knows? elevated a touch. Who it's knows? good. It's good. I mean, well, it's fun. I'm happy that you know you didn't gag and feel like mm -hmm. you're on fire. Me That's too, good, man. man. I don't like doing that anymore. So you would prefer the old fashioned? As opposed to straight? Oh yeah, I would for sure. Cool. I like the old fashioned as well. Yeah, it's good. And what is exact ex exactly is bitters? Is bitters like a uh, obviously a mix? Yeah. Um, I don't even really know how to define bitters. You know what I mean? Because I don't use bitters very often. If I'm making an old fashioned, this was bourbon barrel aged bitters. What the fuck does that even mean? We're not really cocktail guys. Yeah, the last cocktail we did right. was peanut butter. Whiskey, yeah. your bitters. And a whiskey. Can our producer look it up, actually? Define bitters. <laughs> Pull it up, Jamie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pull it up. <laughs> Pull it up. We're going to see what bitters are, because we don't fucking know. Bitters. Yeah. Not bad. I'm happy with it, honestly. I mean, that, that bottle's almost done. I'm gonna grab another one because yep. it is standard fare on my open bar upstairs, so. Yep, we cracked one and we also have one open because, you know, this is not gonna last through the evening. <laughs> <laughs> We're bad. 
That's right. Or some band. So I can tell you what bitters are. The magic of television. Plural, also bitters, is traditionally an alcoholic preparation flavored with botanical matter for bitter or bittersweet flavor. Originally, numerous long-standing brands of bitters were developed as patented medicines okay. and now are sold as digestifs, sometimes oh, with herbal ooh, properties, yeah. and as cocktail flavorings. Nice. Wow, so that's like great. Jägermeister. So we still don't know what the fuck it is. No, it's perfect. <laughs> Sounds it's great. It's plant matter. Something. Yeah, it's something. Either way, we're looking after our health by drinking it. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's it's good for you. We can all agree that that's basically what that was saying. With each sip, I feel healthier and better. It's actually healthier. better than the vaccine. Ooh, vaccine is a very trending word right now. Brought to you by Pfizer. Making a difference. Brought to you by Pfizer. You know what we should do? We should put vaccine in the title of this video. That's probably yeah, the algorithm will be like, flag it. <laughs> Take it down. Oh, this boy is removed. <laughs> You'll get, get half a like. Get canceled before we hit that thousand. Oh, yeah. Brutal. This close. We're looking to you now, Newfoundland. <laughs> yeah. Sure we think? need y'all to bump those numbers up. You know what I'm saying? You sure? Yeah. Come on, y'all. Just give me my fucking bag back. Oh, his bag. Come on. Mike That's tried. bad. Air Canada lost his He's just going to go out like a goddamn fucking 18-year-old hipster every night. Hello, guys. Morning, guys. Morning, I'm NGV. I'm Randy. Welcome to Fox Crib. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hello, guys. <laughs> I love it. It's so yeah, proper. Guys. What Little are you at? Yeah. <laughs> Anyone else on Tinders? Wow, gross. Yeah, follow me on Tinder. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I want to share that shit. I'm my wife on Tinder. Oh, oh, that's awkward. Wow. <clears throat> Oops! <laughs> Sorry, I uh, I met my girlfriend who dumped me on Tinder, so that's a little more nice. Nice. That that seems... a little more upsetting. I met oh, my wife yeah. in Newfoundland. In You're in Newfoundland Leading Tinder? as well? Leading Tinder? Newfoundland. In Leading Tinder. Yeah, that's correct. Ninder. Ninder. <laughs> Tinder. No, that's a whole other... Oh, that's what, yeah, that's what Brian calls it. I almost fucking just... Uh, you just gaffed his joke, but... Brian was talking, it said some story about Colin or something, like, he had to meet up with him on the side of the road, like, to sell him, like, a fucking joystick in the rain. He's like, I don't know, I met him on fucking Binder or whatever the fuck, Babe and Tinder. <laughs> oh, Bailiff's meeting up with him. Bay yeah. Tinder. I like it. <laughs> it could Brian was on this show, he joined us live from Thailand. It was awesome. That's right, yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was fun. That was fun. He was like, he was like our dad. He didn't know how to work any of it. How do you like the whiskeys? He was a black silhouette. No, he was drinking whiskey from the Red Bull Distillery. What? Yeah. Red Bull distillery. The Red Bull Distillery. Red Bull makes whiskey in Thailand, yeah. Wow. Really? Yeah. Was it gross? I can't remember. Yeah, that, that, that don't fuck up your uh, system. Yeah. I don't think I'd be into that. Mm. Well, I'm going to try. <laughs> maybe. Maybe not. Maybe not. I'm into this, though. Yeah, me too. I'm actually gonna spice up my old fashioned here. Yeah, why not? Why not? Why not? Kill it that's off. crazy. Make it look out more. I ain't it. A little stronger. <laughs> Just a little stronger, that's all. Just bumps it up to Adam. Mm. Way better. I like an old fashioned voice. It's good, eh? Yeah, pretty decent. So, um, I think the consensus is a friendly and affordable, fun uh, whiskey mixed with the waters of Newfoundland and bottled in Newfoundland in sight of Single Hill. That's important. That's very exciting. I don't know why, but it is. I like it. You like it. I do. You like it. Perfect. What the fuck else are you looking for? It's what else you want? Yeah. You should try it with your pinky out. We do that every now and then. Eh? You know, so I do it by accident because I used to do it as a joke so often. Mm. It became, <laughs> just became the way you do it. Nah, it's no accident. Mm. Not gay, all right? It didn't. I'm not gay. Hence is something. Not gay. I'm not gay. Just because I love You're dick dumb. doesn't mean. <laughs> <laughs> Throw me something. Man. You want some more too? Oh, all right. Just because dick is delicious doesn't mean I'm gay. I'm not gay. <clears throat> You're the one that's gay for seven years. It, it just means D. It just means dick has perfect amount of bitters. Do we have Maybe. cricket sounds that we could? <laughs> Or so like coughing audience sounds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the movement he's talking about. Yeah. yeah. That's the sound. Oh, that's the sound I like to hear when I talk about dick. Perfect. Oh god. 
Wonderful. Well, once again, our show takes a, a horrible <laughs> tangent. You also, I forgot it's like a whiskey review show. My bad. <laughs> yeah, this is your fault. So <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> this is Mike's episode. You gotta go over the restrictions before we do this. There are no restrictions. No, okay. There's nothing here at the heat. I always used to say, man, everybody show. First thing they would say, Josh, man, you got to mind your manners. You, you, like, no swearing and stuff, right? And you you got to be polite when you're talking about the distilleries. And oh, I'm like, yeah, I don't want to go on your fucking show. <laughs> not even start my own damn show. And here we are. Yeah. Well, failing thanks. upwards. Yep. We're well, almost well, at a thousand. <laughs> Only six more years. I hope not. Well, we'll see. All right. Well, with that being said, uh, cheers to Signal Hill. Yes. Cheers yeah. to Mike Lynch uh, for joining us. Cheers yeah. To yeah. And cheers to you, heathens. Cheers, cheers to you. To you. We'll mm -hmm. catch you later. Bye, my boy. Love him.